right, so I'm on my desktop right now, and I'm going to show you how to route your audio interface to your PC, providing you got your USB cable hooked up to the USB port. Okay, so what you're going to do, <clears throat> and you got your recording software ready to go. So make sure you have everything ready to go before you do this. Now, step one is to go down to the right corner of your computer, your desktop, and you're going to click on the speaker icon, and then this will pop up and then you're going to go to the cog wheel in the right corner click on that and it'll bring you your settings up okay and you'll see some tabs here your camera installed apps and all that stuff okay right here where it says sound click on that tab it'll bring up your system sound settings now the system sound settings are as follows you got your input and you got your output, okay? Your output, and you can see there, it shows a speaker icon that's self-explanatory. That means that's what's going to your speaker monitors, PC monitors, or whatever you, you're using to hear the playback. Your input is right here, and it shows a microphone icon. That is your microphone, or whatever source you're using. Um, in my case, I have my microphone hooked up. I'm speaking through it right now, and it's hooked up to channel one going through my audio interface, which is the Personas Revelator. Okay, so now if you look closely, you'll see right there it says playback left and right to Revelator IO24. That's my audio interface, so it's labeled, they're showing it. Then if I go down to my input section, it shows microphone instrument one and two, one or two, because I have a two channel audio interface and I'm plugged into channel one. It shows to Revelator IO24, okay? So obviously it, it's right. I mean, it shows my audio interface, so my audio interface is labeled, it's there. Um, then it shows other ones right here, it shows the, uh, virtual output and virtual output B and A and all that stuff. That's something different. You just got to make sure your playback and your micro, your, your, your basically your input and your output have the same audio interface. Okay. Make sure they are the same. All right. So another thing you can do too, to make sure that your microphone is working and make sure that, you know, um, everything's working properly and you want to make sure your microphone is working and it's picking this picking up the sound you just click on this tab right here under the input section and it right where it says mic instrument one and two click on this little arrow and you'll see the input volume right here you can turn this up or down your volume your input your microphone i have it maxed out because i control my volume through the audio interface because I have volume control, everything on my audio interface. So I control it from there. I don't touch this. So obviously it's working because the bar is moving up and down. As you can see there, as I talk, it's moving up and down, up and down. Okay, so it's working. So that's how you can tell if your microphone is working. Also, make sure your audio enhancements are off. Just click off on that. I have mine on because I watch movies through my computer, so I have the enhancements on. All right, so once this is done, and it shows up here where, what interface you're using, in my case, the Revelator IO24, shows it right there. You're good to go. So now, once that's done, and you, you already did your microphone check, you're gonna go to your software, open it up, okay? Make sure it's installed, Install that first before anything anyways. Okay, and then um, you go through your audio interface settings. Now, it might show differently on your recording software. You may not be using Studio One Professional. Studio One, if you're using Studio One, I'll show you how to do it. But this applies to any recording software out there. Okay, so just keep that in mind. All right, so I can either, I can do it two different ways. I can either go to configure audio interface like that, okay? Or I can just click on my audio interface itself and it shows the Revelator IO24. And there it is. And it shows under audio device, Revelator. Now, the Revelator 
has different, there's a couple different ones. Um, uh, I, I use the Revelator IL-24 or I use the microphone. I have a Revelator microphone. That's why it shows both right here. So, but it has a list, a drop down list of all different types of interfaces. Here's my UMC, which is my Behringer, which I have. Um, it's, it's showing that because I used that previously. And that's it. Okay, so we get out of there. Now, I'm under still under the audio device tab. If I go to processing tab, it shows my dropout protection, which Studio One provides that, which is really cool. You can pick different settings, low, medium, high. I have it on minimum. Uh, shows my process block size, which is 128. So this is my current, my current settings right now. Running 64-bit. It shows my monitoring latencies right down the bottom. Audio uh, round trip is 16.1 milliseconds. Instrument is 11.4 milliseconds. If I go back to audio device, this is where you want to set everything up accordingly. Um, I have di different uh, block sizes, sample box sizes that I can pick and choose from. I'm at 128 because my computer can run that without any problems. So you might want to try to find your sweet spot because if you're getting latency, pops, cracking sounds, you might have to adjust this accordingly. You might have to go to 512 or 256 or even 1024. It all depends on your system. I can't say that enough. It all depends on your running system, your operating system, how fast your computer is. Mine is 16 gigabytes. It's pretty super fast. And I and I got four uh, two or four two terabyte um, solid state drives. So all my music go, gets saved on there. All my loops, all my libraries are all in, you know, on those hard drives. Therefore, the only thing I have in my operating systems drive is my operating systems uh, contents. That's it. Nothing else. And I don't use this computer to uh, search on the web much or anything. I have another computer for that. This is all for video editing and music editing. That's it. So anyways, you should have a sample block size we, that you can pick and choose from, all these different samples, okay? My sample rate is 48 kilohertz. So there you have it. So everything is set up accordingly. You just gotta make sure that your audio interface is being picked up inside your recording software. That is important. Make sure it's listed. Make sure it pops up. It should. All recording softwares are that way. Once you plug in your audio interface, it should pick it up. And you just click on the name of it, whatever you're using. If I'm using the Behringer, it'll show Behringer. If I'm using the Sterling uh, four-channel audio interface, it'll show up. So just make sure that you have that showing up inside your project under audio device. Okay, so here's a quick tip to help you guys out before I leave uh, regarding your sound settings. Uh, this will test your mic to make sure that your microphone is going through your computer, that your computer is picking it up, okay? Um, if you hooked up your audio interface the correct way and, and your settings are correct, um, then you should see this sound, the sound bar, the mic bar move up and down. So we're going to test that out right now. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the, um, uh, the bottom right corner again, and you're going to click on that speaker icon again, and you're going to go to the cog wheel, to settings. Okay. And then once you get to settings, you're going to go back to sound, go to sound. And then you'll see your output and then you'll see your input right there. Here's your input and here's your output. So you're going to go to the input section. That's your microphone. Here's your microphone right there. You're going to click on this arrow here and it'll bring you to your, your, uh, your mic instrument one and two. And if you look down where, where it says input settings, you'll see right here, input volume. If your microphone is going through correctly and it's it's working properly, you'll see the bar move up and down. See as I'm speaking? Hello, testing, testing. See it move? And then you can mute it as well. 
Now, if I mute the mic, now if I mute the microphone, you won't see that bar move. Testing. And I was speaking just now, and it wasn't moving. Now I'm speaking again. So you can see there, the microphone is, the audio interface is picking up my microphone. It, it's it. I'm in channel one. Uh, my input volume is set. My microphone is working because that clearly shows that my microphone is working. That means you are ready to go. So that means your PC settings, your sound settings are correctly, you know, set up the right way. So I hope this helps you out. I wanted to show you this before I leave because this is important and I almost forgot. So anyways, make sure your microphone's working, okay? Also, uh, one other tip. Make sure that your audio enhancements are off, okay? Make sure they are off. Um, right now, I have them on device default, default effects. You could turn it off. if That way, there's no enhancements in there, okay? Um, you want everything... Uh, to be utilized through your audio interface. You don't need the uh, audio enhancements. So just turn that off. I leave mine on because I play games and stuff. So I'm gonna put it back to uh, default. But anyways, when you're recording music, just make sure that's off. So that's about it, guys. I mean, it, it's plain and simple. It's self-explanatory. I hope this video helps you out. You know, just make sure that everything is hooked up properly. Make sure you, you download your recording software. Step one, step two is hooking up your audio interface, going through the steps I showed you in, under sound settings in your PC. Open up your, the third step is open up your recording software. Make sure your audio, your audio interface is showing up, okay, under the uh, device tab. Make sure everything is showing up with your audio interface, whatever brand you're using, whatever whatever device you're using, okay? That's it. So if you guys do these steps, you should not have any hangups. So please leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I, I will answer, answer them. And also don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. And don't forget to like this video because it always helps my channel out. I hope this video helps you out and uh, stay on that musical journey. So the next couple of videos are basically going to be uh, showing you how to record guitars, bass, drums, all that stuff. That's going to be later on. So anyways, stay on that musical journey. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.